Welcome to worship on this Christmas Eve. This is the second of the two Christmas Eve service videos that we have available here for Trinity United Church in Oakville. This is a more contemplative service that includes a short message and communion. The first half of this service includes a Christmas story and a more child-oriented message. And if you would like to view that first, it is in the description of this video. This night is a quiet one, a holy one, a silent one. But under the stars in the sky, with warmth and family around us, we celebrate this night as a gift from above. Angels sang of a holy one who is coming. Christ is here, so may we worship God who is with us here on this holy night. scripture reading this evening is from the book of Isaiah, chapter 9, verses 2 to 7. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with the joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Over the course of Advent and this Christmas Eve, 
we've been reflecting upon the gifts that we have to offer, whether they are to Jesus or to each other. Each animal that we imagine as being part of the Christmas story have their own things to offer. The donkey provides reliable transportation. The cow provides safe accommodation. The sheep provides warm insulation. And the dove, a quiet lullaby. But each of these gifts can also stand for those key Advent words of hope, peace, love, and joy. Though I arbitrarily assigned each animal to a word for the purposes of organizing worship, each gift is multifaceted and improves our life immeasurably. Of course, these animals cannot be reduced to one gift each. Every animal has many gifts to offer, as they were each created intentionally and complexly by a creator with the wisdom to know how we might all work together. But this season is not simply about giving gifts to Jesus, even though that is significant. Christmas is about marking God's gift to us, gifts given in and through Jesus Christ. We have many things to offer, but God gives us something in return. We know the story of Jesus, how Jesus embodied the best aspects of God and humanity. When we look at the prophecy in Isaiah, Christians believe that these are referring to Christ. So how might Jesus come to live up to the names of Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace? It may not seem like it, but Jesus will become a wonderful counselor. Years of learning will expand his mind. Along with the divine wisdom that's inherent within him, Jesus will spend time at the synagogue, learning the scriptures of his ancestors. But he will also learn about people. From his home, he will see that there is a need that needs to be filled, a sense of sadness and detachment from God that hurts the hearts of the people and crushes their spirit. Through his teaching, Jesus would allow them to hope again. A wonderful counselor inspires hope, reversing perspectives and elevating our vision. On this Christmas night, it may not seem like it, but Jesus will become a mighty God. In key passages, Jesus shows that his body is a vessel for healing power, curing diseases common and uncommon, manageable and life-threatening. People come to Jesus because they believe that he could help them where nothing else possibly could. But Jesus did not wield magic, potions, or medicine that we would recognize. Jesus came and healed by the power of God's love. A mighty God bears love, transforming what is possible and allowing us to witness what God can really do. On this Christmas night, it may not seem like it, but Jesus will become an everlasting father. This baby will grow up. As a young man, this baby will do many things that promote justice and inspire hope, but will do so in opposition to those in power. He will be arrested and he will die under their watch. But that will not be the end. In time, Christ will come again. Through resurrection, Jesus will show us that the joy of God exists beyond even death. An everlasting parent bears joy, an assurance that any chains that bind us can and will be broken, and something new can be created even out of nothing. On this Christmas night, it may not seem like a lot of things are possible, but what we do know is that Jesus will be a Prince of Peace. Our hymns and song of Jesus never see him crying. Our vision of this Christmas night is one of peace. Where visitors of all kinds alight upon the child's birthplace and are able to see that child is special. By their gifts, this child has nothing to worry about. Though in a strange place that is not home, safety and security are built around him by those who recognize that something special has taken place. A Prince of Peace ensures that all are safe within the domain. And in this stable, with a light at the door, 
with animals gathered around, with a star and angels far overhead, Jesus, from the moment of birth, does exactly that. On this holy night, a child is born in Bethlehem. He will do great things, but for now, let us enjoy this gift that God offers to us. For now, let us breathe in the peace of this Christmas night. Amen. As we come to this table, we are reminded that it is not the table of this congregation, nor is it the table of the United Church of Canada or any particular denomination. This is the table of Jesus Christ, the family feast of the whole people of God. All who seek to be nourished and sustained in the journey of faith and long to live justly with their neighbor are welcome here. Let us eat and drink together in our strengthening of the faith and for the sake of God's world. Whatever elements you have at your disposal may be the bread and cup of this table. We share this space with God's Spirit who abides with us. We come to this table on a journey. We have waited for a long time to be in a place where we can celebrate God's Son, Jesus Christ. In this moment of celebration, we gather at many tables, destinations of community, a coming together of memory and reverence. God has invited us here 
just as God has invited all of humanity to participate in God through Christ. God be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to God. God of outpoured love, you are a pillar of wisdom and strength. In cold nights and on dark days, you are a source of warmth and light for your people. We praise and give thanks, for you are a blessed creator who has gifted us with many things. All life comes through you, as does all of the goodness for which we are thankful. You're in the falling snow and the glimpses of sunshine, the cool wind and the warm hearth. Praise be to God, for God is with us. We give thanks to a God for all that is in the world and the opportunity to gather and worship. Praise be to God, for God is with us. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. God has come to earth in Jesus Christ. An embodiment of God's love, Jesus was a guide for us. In his life and through his work, Jesus represented a way of peace and justice that the people around him needed to hear. His message of hope was not lost on us in these days either, as we consistently seem to be in troubled times. On this day, we celebrate the birth of Christ and the beginning of the story that brings so much joy in its expression of God's love. May God's guiding light in all the stars of heaven and all the hearts of humanity never go out. Praise be to God. God is with us. It is good to gather together over food of this world in fellowship. Taking refuge from the cold of the night, we come to a meeting place, as Jesus did with his friends. We remember Jesus, and we remember on the night before he died that he took bread, and he broke it and offered it to his friends, saying, Take and eat. Whenever you do this, remember me. Likewise, he took the cup, saying, Take and drink. With this new covenant, remember me. In memory of those people in that place, we offer ourselves in this time, saying, Christ has died Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Let us pray. God of light, be with us, we pray. In these days, your people are unsafe and unsure. In a season where there ought to be plenty, there is scarcity. In a season where there ought to be sanctuary, there is emptiness. In a season where there ought to be love, there is cold. We pray that these things are not lost in the curl of wind and snow and loud noise. The gifts this world has to offer are not evenly distributed by the will of misguided understanding and misused power. We pray that in receiving the gift of Christ anew in this time, that things begin to change. That we remember the humility of Christ's birth, the kinds of people that drew around him and the beginning of one of God's grand projects on earth. Remind us of how small things have room to grow, and that you, God, are with us and all others in the deepest night. May you reveal your light to us and bring us home to you and to our beloved on this earth. Through Christ, we come to know you, O God. We come to know that you are love and that you are with us. We pray these things for ourselves and others with the words of your Son, Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The bread of life, broken for you in the name of Christ. The cup of salvation, poured out for you in the name of Christ. These things, seemingly ordinary, are the gifts of God. Praise be to God. God is with us. The bread of life. The cup of salvation. Let us pray. Loving God, we have gathered, shared, and eaten in your name. May we be filled with your spirit, nourished by your word, and supported by your world, that we may go from this place fully aware of the great gift of Christ and the great celebration of Christmas and the grace of your light present on our way. We pray in the name of a wonderful counselor, a mighty God, an everlasting Father, a Prince of Peace. Amen. Christ is with us in this place and wherever you are. On this holy night, praise be to God who gives us the gift of grace and blessings to each of us who are gifts ourselves that we give every day. Go now in peace, for God is with us on this holy night. Amen and Merry Christmas. Amen.